Okay, so Ultra D, Modern Warfare 2. Here's my review of it. So let's get started. Box art, generic. It's a guy holding a gun. What else do you expect? Black Ops 4, guy holding the gun. Modern Warfare 2019, guy holding the gun. In box art, guys are always holding things. Like, look. What's he holding? I don't know. Everyone's. Half that, right? Just... Okay. And then the font is pretty cool. Again, the Modern Warfare font. Okay. Back of the box art. It shows you some reviews, but really tiny. That's okay. It shows you a little bit of gameplay. And then it, standard Xbox stuff down there, not for resale. Well, I bought it at GameStop, so I guess I just resold it. Okay, so I honestly don't know if there's a manual. There probably is. It's very tiny, and garbage. But here's the disc. Okay, so campaign, best campaign ever in Call of Duty, hands down, no argument. Characters are amazing. Soap, Price, whatever that other guy's name is. Oh, I forget. The graphics were amazing for the time. The guns, they were great. Shepard's an amazing character. Just all those characters are amazing. To have a campaign that good, like that instantly, like if, if this is only the campaign itself, that's boosting its rating to a certain outset. So, how's the multiplayer? Great. It's great. The campaign's, not, the campaign's 10 out of 10. How's the multiplayer? It's amazing. It's amazing. The trick shots, sniping feels good. Split screen's fun. The tactical nuke. The maps. Like Rust. Terminal. Just so many good maps. And it's a shame there's no one on the servers anymore. Please, Infinity Ward, make a COD Modern Warfare 2 remastered multiplayer. I'll review the other campaign remastered someday, but spoiler, it's amazing. Just hidden Intel. Just, oh my gosh. I'm hyped talking about this game. Spec Ops. You know, I haven't really played enough to form an opinion, but what I've played, it's really fun. Okay, I think Modern Warfare 3 had the best Spec Ops, honestly. Which, I don't have that game here right now with me, so I can't do that, but I'll get to it eventually. This game is a flat review of a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's not the best COD. It's on the COD scale. It's, it's this close. The next game I'm reviewing is personally my favorite card, and I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Now, it's people, it's very hated, and it's, it's not an advanced one. It's a modern one, if you know which one. So, watch out for that later today, and thank you.